Hi everyone, it's me again, Micah Fines, and today I'm going to talk about our newest exclusive at Endless Pens, uh, which I helped design and it was produced by Opus 88. Um, it is the same size as the Opus 88 demonstrator pen, but this one has swirls of pale green and deep blue. And at the top, you will find some silver snakes uh, that have been placed on the finial. And um, the concept and the name is actually Medusa. And we are launching this pen during the Independence Day sale of Endless Pens. And well, I, I'm not American, so like July 4th, it, it kind of escapes me. But the concept of independence and freedom, that's something that is universal. And yes, we have days that commemorate our freedom and we have days that celebrate this freedom. But there are still circumstances that prohibit people from being free. And that, I suppose, is why we have Medusa. So I would like to say first, trigger warning for uh, mentions of sexual violence uh, so if you don't if you don't know yet about the story of Medusa we know that she's a gorgon she was a famous monster in the Greek mythology but how that came about is a pretty tragic tale so the story goes simplified was that Poseidon, the god of the seas, brother of Zeus, Poseidon really wanted Medusa. And so he decided to take her for himself by force. It was rape. And it was, coincidentally, he decided to do this in a temple that belonged to Athena. And Athena, she saw this act as a personal sort of sin against her because Medusa did not value her secret space. And so Athena, instead of punishing Poseidon, she decided to punish Medusa. And that's how she was turned into a gorgon with snakes and turning men into stone. And the story doesn't end there. Perseus, the son of Zeus, Zeus was the brother of Poseidon. Perseus, in, in the end, ends up killing Medusa and then he delivers her head of snakes and all that to Athena. In fact, Perseus was able to kill Medusa with a little bit of help from Athena. I believe Athena gave him a shield or something. So Perseus gives Medusa's head back to Athena as a gift and Athena continues to use Medusa's head and, and the power of, of turning men into stone. Okay. So it's a, it's a horrible tale and we see and we learn so much from it and we can sadly, like, see realities of, of this myth sometimes still in play in, in, our, in our life, in the news. And tales like this and how it reflects 
society now causes us to ask what is freedom, what is justice? What are the um, what are the instances where we we need to stand up for each other? What are the instances where we should question what governs us and what laws are in place, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So, I think that's the beauty also of the Greek mythology and all of the other um, tales, ancient tales that we have available, is that they are classic for a reason. They are relevant even in our current seasons of life and there are certain retellings of this story which try to redeem athena one such retelling is uh, a tale that i read from lost owl jewelry they they sell antiques so this retelling, it focuses on how what was done to Medusa was not a punishment, but as an empowerment, so that all that rage and all that pain was transformed into snakes on her head, and it gave her power to fight back. And that's a beautiful retelling. I wish it was that way and it, it's also good to to reclaim that sort of anger that it's not all bad that anger actually can protect us and empower us but i still you know i i'm i'm stuck on the original tale so because of that um i wrote a poem which you'll also see in the product description of the Medusa pen. And it is told in Medusa's voice, and it goes like, Wrath and grief are sisters, slithering, twisting, and burrowing in the darker recesses of my mind. Monstrous memories, soothed by coil and hiss and scales. Power and protection had I none. Justice and mercy given I none. An example I became. See me, hear me, time and again. The ego of gods may the worst monsters be. So, not my usual pen design and concept. I know uh, people have gotten used to maybe um, me putting out a pen that's very soothing and calming. And I love those, you know, I love that we have a community that can also resonate with those things. That we definitely need calm, we definitely need to be soothed and comforted and find space for ourselves. But then there are also important matters like what this story represents and so if that resonates with you if you want to reclaim your personal power and stand for things that truly matter to you and you need something to remind you to be bold to be brave and to do good then that is the message in the medusa pen and i hope that you guys like the pen comes with a box that also includes an eyedropper because the filling system of Opus 88 is not a cartridge converter, it is also not a piston, it is an eyedropper filling system. First, you uncap the pen and then you remove the section. Then you would take some ink and eyedropper it directly into the barrel. 
sometimes instead of eyedropper ring, I also choose to uh, use a blunt tip syringe instead. When you're writing, you can opt to open the shut off valve. This allows air to push the ink down into the feed for better ink flow as you're writing. And the reason that you close it is so that it can prevent any leaks, especially if you are on the go and your pen is in your bag.